Hi, my name is Thomas Foster. I'm always asked, can you actually build a synthesizer with Max for Life? And my answer to that is, yes, of course you can. How? With a Max instrument and beep. What is beep? That's the modular synthesizer by Max from Cycling74. Do you see this cool synthesizer? Sounds great, doesn't it? If you give me 10 minutes of your time now, I'll show you how to program this synth. Have fun! Alrighty, let's start. We open the browser here with this little arrow. We go to Max for Life, Max Instrument. Let's open this folder and here we find the Max Instrument default instrument. So let's place it on our first MIDI track and as we want to edit this we click here the edit button, the first one of the three on the right side. Okay, what do we have here? We have a MIDI input where the notes are coming in that we are playing. We have a plug out, that's where audio is coming out. We don't need all these comments here, so we erase it with the backspace key. Good. Um, let's place them here. The fastest way to build a synthesizer in Max for Life is to use Beep. Beep is some models where you can build a modular synthesizer. So to open Beep, we just click on the B. The first thing we need for a synthesizer is an oscillator. So we click on oscillator. We have a lot of oscillators here. We take the normal one called oscillator. With a double click, you bring it into your system here. Wonderful. That's our first element. What is the next element that we need to build a synthesizer? A filter. So we go to filter and we choose the low pass filter with LPF. Double click. All right, here it is. We connect it. The signal that comes from the oscillator goes to the signal input of the filter. Next, we click on beep. Uh, we want to change the volume. Um, for this, we click on level and here on VCA. Double click and again we connect the output of the filter with the input of the VCA. So who is controlling the volume of the VCA? For this we need an envelope. So we go to envelope and here we choose the ADSR, what means attack, decay, sustain and release. Let's make a double click on it. Here we have it. The signal that comes out of the envelope controls the C Y. But from where does the information of the gate and the trigger coming? Also here from where is this information coming? These informations are coming from the MIDI input. So again we go on beep and here we go to MIDI. Because we want to change our MIDI signal into a synthesizer signal, modular synthesizer signal. So we go to MIDI to signal, we make a double click here, very cool, and from uh, we connect the MIDI input that is coming from Ableton with the MIDI input of our MIDI to signal. Uh, here we take the first output saying one V per octave going to the CV1. And the gate we connect to the gate of our ADSR and also the trigger with the trigger. Okay, the output of our synthesizer we give here to plug out left and plug out right, which means at the moment we have a mono synthesizer, but that's the simplest way we can build a synthesizer. And that's what we want to do now. Okay, so now let's go out of the edit mode to understand how our synthesizer is looking. Uh, we do this here on view, edit, or 
you hold down the command or the control key and click somewhere uh, at the background. Yeah, it looks not so nice, right? Uh, basically, everything that is on top of the black line is what we later see here in this window. Okay, so we don't want to see MIDI, so let's place it here. We don't want to see plug out. Maybe we want to start with the MIDI input, so we place this in the left upper corner. The next thing could be our oscillator. The next thing could be our filter. And after that, we continue with the envelope. And after that, we place our signal VCA. Okay, now let's take a look to our synthesizer. I don't like the fact that we see the cables. So why don't we select the cables? You do this by holding down the option key, click somewhere in the background and drop a square on top of the cables. So now when they are selected, we say command K, which means hide on lock. Or on a PC, it's control K. Let's do this. Nothing is changing, but it will change at the moment we go out from the edit mode like this. So now the cables are gone. Again here the edit mode. At the moment we are not in the edit mode. The cables are gone. And that's why the name is hide on lock because we first have to lock our patcher. Okay, let's do the same with the other cables and we hold down the option or alt key and select the cables and we say hide on lock. Here it is. And now all the cables are gone. Very good. We have a black background here and a gray background here. Maybe we have too much colors. Maybe everything in black would be a little bit nicer. Maybe also some space in between would be nicer. So let's do this. Looks better like this. But maybe it also would be nice if the black background would be black. To do this, we go to the inspector window. And here we have the feature locked patcher background color. So we click on this, we turn it to black, and now we close it again. Nothing changed because we have to go out from the edit mode. And now it's black. Looks great. So now we should change our patcher. We anyway have to change it at the moment we try to close it. What we have to do if we want to see it in Max. Okay, I close it. I say save. Now in the folder Max Instruments, we say my first instrument. And here it is. Maybe a little shorter release time. We can change the oscillator, sounds maybe nicer. And we can click this button here to go from semi to frequency to change the frequency of our filter. Now let's add some effects. Beautiful. My name is Thomas Foster and this is a multi-part tutorial for Max for Life. Max for Life makes it possible to create Max patches that you can use directly inside of Ableton Live, which means you can build your own audio and MIDI effects. You can build your own instruments and you can use Max to communicate with the world outside of Ableton and outside of your computer. If you want to learn how to program effects and instruments for Max for Life, then come to my YouTube channel 
Thomas Foster Music Production. I built my own instrument with Max called the Nyx, called after the Greek god of night. All the sounds you hear are coming from Ableton, but I use Max for life to create notes based on my finger movements. Please write me in the comment if this video was helpful for you or if you have any questions or suggestions for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers! Gentlemen, the looks, the looks, the Greek god after the night.